Winners in each of their last four USL contests, the Republic are flying high heading into July. This afternoon, they put their true wings to the test with the trip down I-80. Not for a match, but to take a tour of Travis Air Force Base. Our Joe Musso has the story. <laughs> On the pitch. Right down the middle. Or in the air. Both the Republic and the 10,000 active duty on Travis Air Force Base describe their work as a consistent jog broken up by a series of explosive sprints. You know, when we heard that the Sacramento Republic was going to be coming down here um, to see what we did, I think everyone was pretty much ecstatic. 20 members of the Republic staff traveled to the base located in Fairfield this afternoon to get an up close look at the largest wing of our Air Force's mobility command. The sheer scale of, of what goes on here, they talk about 23,000 people really every day that are working behind the scenes. That's a small city, so it's unbelievable to know like the level of operational excellence that needs to happen here. We know that it is very important for them to see what we do, um, just so they can kind of get a little bit of that understanding um, of what service is. The day featured an in-depth tour of Travis's largest aircraft, known as the C-5, followed by an inter-squad pickup game with Republic staffers and some of our nation's best and brightest. Uh, I don't know if this is our forte. They, they seem to be doing pretty well against us over here. I'm, I'm doing my best. Uh, not to pull a hammy or anything. Fun and games aside, today's mission was one of communication, opening a dialogue and strengthening the fabric of a community. I mean, if I can help the public understand um, about not just what I get to do, but what all of these 10,000 airmen get to do every day, to me that's super important. This is all about raising awareness in our community for, for the amazing work that people do in every facet. That's why uh, the Republic was founded and that's how we're going to be.